Hello everyone and welcome to a demonstration video primarily for relationship dialogue overhaul or RDO, but really this could be applied to any mod that you're trying to check for conflicts between its and other mods in your load order. Now obviously this is not going to be a in-game demonstration. Like I mentioned, I'm going to be showing you all how to check for conflicts between RDO and the other mods in your load order by using a tool called Test5 Edits or Xedit. I may refer to the same tool with both of those terms interchangeably. So of course you will need this tool and actually be able to start it, have it find and load your mod list. That's really all you need to know how to do. You don't need to understand all of its features or how to work things in it because I'm going to show you all here today. Now, don't be confused. I am not going to teach you all I'm not going to teach or instruct on how to make or how to fix or how to resolve, I should say, the conflicts between mods. I'm not going to get into that because that requires an understanding of about 99.9% .9 of them are going to be dialogue conflicts that would be dialogue conditions, and unless you know what those mean and understand them, you probably don't want to be messing with them. You may, I mean, if, if you're feeling adventurous, go for it, but if you don't, I wouldn't recommend it unless you understand what they are. They're not difficult to understand, they just kind of take a little time and just kind of processing them over and over again. But again, I'm getting off subject here, let's get back on to what's important. Like I mentioned, this is just to show conflicts between RDO in this case and all the mods in your load order. So for those of you that are wondering, is it compatible with the mods I'm using? Well, this is how you will check. Now what, it, what you're going to want to do before you actually start in test 5 edit and load it up completely is you want to take relationship dialogue overhaul .esp and move it as far up in your load order as you can, all the way near the top. It should be right underneath your last ESM file or a mod that is flagged as an ESM. What does that mean? For instance, you sleep, you see right here. If you go underneath test 5 edit and check the file header, you'll see right here, it says record flags.esm. So any mod that has a .esm or has a flag of .esm should be loaded near the top. You'll need to put RDO's plugin right beneath the very last one of those. Once you've done that, what you can do is come over here and select it, alternate or right click on it, and go down into where you see this option that says apply filter to show conflict losers. Primary click on this option and just sit back and let test 5 edit begin to process. Now depending on your mod list, this may take a few minutes, this may take a few seconds if you're using a very sparse amount of mods, or it could take several minutes, maybe four or five minutes, I'm not sure. Again, this all depends on your mod list and the number of conflicts that it has. Now the list I'm using is rather small compared to what I normally use, I don't have a lot of patches, I don't have a lot of mods that I normally use, so this is not going to take as long as it'll take probably about a minute, 20 minute and 30 seconds or so. So rather than sit here and make you all wait this whole time, I'll just skip forward until uh, once it's finished. So I'll be right back when test five edit has finished processing. Okay. Now that test five edit has finished processing all of its plugins or all the plugins that has uh, mod conflicts with each other, you'll see that the mod list has shrunk quite a bit. It's now got much less than what it was before and it all fits on this one pane right here on the left side. You don't need to scroll. So you'll now see all these mods highlighted in red. What does that mean? There are conflicts between these mods, for instance, that are being overwritten by each other. Let me explain that a little bit better. For instance, relationship dialogue overhaul right here has records that are being overwritten by mods that come after it. Now, if it's a record that is originally, that comes from RDO, and another mod changes it, that's not going to be flagged from this. What this means is RDO is making a change to something that comes before it. For instance, maybe it comes from Hearthfires or Dragonborn. RDO makes a change, and then another mod comes after it that changes it to something else. So RDO's changes are not, are not carried over. Maybe some of them are, but not all of them. And so that's the type of records that will show when you do this. This allows you to see what other mods are going to be overriding RDO. So go ahead and click on this, left click on this to expand its or primary, and you'll see the different record types. Now I believe there's oh, eight, is there 10? I'm not sure exactly how many different record types RDO has, but depending on the number of conflicts you have, this may be a lot or a little, just it depends. So go ahead and click on these to begin expanding them, and you'll see exactly which ones it conflicts with. Now, you'll look at this and you may think you can stop here. Well, this is not actually, I should say, this is not usually where the conflict is. Occasionally it is, but not very often when it comes to dialogue. You want to expand this and you'll find that the 
individual ones is where you, is where the conflict is. That's where it's going to be. So, for instance, as you can see right here, you're going to see a couple of conflicts with one dialogue line that's used by Varnius Junius, who is one of the Dragon Bridge citizens. You can see that it's a conflict because pretty much you have these two conditions right here that are not being carried over that are different from the original master file. So it's going to flag these that, hey, there's mods that are losing out. So RDO is losing to cutting room floor and then the patch. Now it's actually correct in this case. You don't want to obviously change it, but this shows you exactly which mods are going to be overriding. You can even look down here at some of the mods that it has. For instance, we can go down all the way to the EFF dialogue one and you'll see Whoops, that was the wrong one. I clicked off that. There we go. And you can see as you come all the way down here that this was the pretty much the last one in this load order that has, a, that has a conflict. So this allows you to check instantly to see what RDO conflicts with, what the records are, and allows you just to view them. Again, I will not be going into exactly how you resolve these conflicts because that is totally mod dependent. It's I can't give you a and a, a you know a, a answer for all of them it's just not possible they all have to it it, de it depends and so that's the issue i can't show you how to do that but this at least lets you easily check i mean again you don't have to do a whole lot of work with that just run the filter to show conflict losers with rdo all the way up on your mod uh your load order and it'll show you exactly hey does it you know all the records it conflicts with and that way you'll be able to check and see exactly what it conflicts with and if you don't know if, if something you're not sure hey, is this, you know, if this record is serious enough or not, then it's, you, if you're scared about it, move audio up in your load order. That, that's the biggest thing I can say is move it further up in your load order. If you're worried that audio is going to mess up other mods, you'll just miss out on features that it has and things maybe it corrects, but at the end of the day, that may be the safest thing for you to do if you're just so worried that it's going to mess up your other mods. Most of its changes has no problems being overwritten by other mods. It's not going to be as critical because pretty much all of them are dialogue. So a few of them are a couple of exceptions, primarily uh, one of the Thieves Guild quest lines because it alters a starting topic, which again, if it gets overwritten, is not the end of the world. It's not a big deal, but it's a few things that perhaps would be nice if you, you know, didn't get overwritten, but at the end of the day, it's not going to kill it because most of them are down to just dialogue records it just fixes things it alters them to where they make more sense or something like that so like i mentioned be sure to do this to be able to check for mod conflicts although one last thing i will say is this is the only few things that are going to be a little bit more you need to be care more careful with the follower things for instance these in particular simply because they have a very small scripts attached to them. Basically, it tells the game to make this NPC do something. For instance, whether it be open an inventory or whether it be do something like uh, dismiss, you know, tell them to stop following you around. It, an NPC, just because you select a dialogue, it doesn't know to do that. Something needs to tell the game to make that NPC do that. So this is their very teeny T90 little scripts that are attached that just have this little thing. So do be careful with the follower things because those can affect how your followers behave if you're using an overhaul. If you're not, if you're using the vanilla ones, then you pretty much don't have any problems with this. This is mainly for the overhauls, just do be careful. And I know this one looks ugly. Don't, don't touch this one. This is for the EFF one. This is correct. Don't touch this. So if you see this and you're worried, oh my gosh, look at all these different, you know, all the red flags, which in this case, they literally are red. This is correct. I've tested this, don't worry. It's, it's correct, just leave it. So unless I'm overlooking something obvious, which hey, I'm human, it can happen, I can make mistakes. I've rambled on too long. Hopefully this video was helpful just to show you all conflicts. Like I said, I'm not going to teach you all how to resolve them. That's per mod. So it's, it's per mod based. I can't I can't do that. It's, it's just not possible. I would have to go through each individual mod one by one. That's not realistically a thing. So I can't tell you, yes, this this will work or no, this work. Here's how you patch it. It's There's just too many of them. So, but at least you can check by using this method that's very simple to do. So... Like I said, hopefully this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll try to get back with you about them. And uh, I probably will be doing another video. We'll see, hopefully, if I have some time. Anyway, take care and have a good one.